you do is eat and eat, but you never pay a dollar. Now get out for good. And by Yem Ben Yemeni, don't come back anymore. You, you moocher. Oh, a moocher, am I? Well, moocher by for you. He got a nerve, throwing a guy out on an empty stomach. I'll find another boarding house. Uh-oh. Lonesome bachelor wishes to meet refined ladies. Object, not try it, money. Can offer fine home and lots of good wholesome food. Phone, Wally Walrus, asthma, 4343. What a cool incident. <laughs> 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 Is this Wally Walrus? Yeah, yeah. This is Wally Walrus. Well, this is Clementine. I saw your ad in the paper. Ah, that's good. Uh, young lady, are you refined? Am I refined? I'm 110 octane. Now don't go away. I'll be right over. Goodbye. <laughs> What a beautiful name. And by golly, she's coming to see me too. Sweet and dainty, like a fairy, and her voice is so divine. Like a feather in the weather, she's my darling Clementine. <laughs> My name is Valrus, but <laughs> you, you can just call me Plain Valley, yeah, sure. Okay, you cute little Wally, Wally, Wally. By golly. She is plenty wonderful. Ah, there you are, my little love bird. Yeah, and you're Clementine. Oh, 
Oh, hear that mellow tone. That soft thing, the latest thing, the Woody Woodpecker polka. That's all laugh like the Woodpecker bird. The Woody Woodpecker polka. That's all laugh so it can be heard. The Woody Woodpecker polka. Happy as two birds in a nest. We'll learn to fill and So let's all laugh. Like the Woodpecker do. What do you know? Just call me Stubby. The monkey, he got drunk and climbed the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees. Then what became of the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk? Well, who cares?
Now listen, buddy. If you want to see this show, you got to wait. See? Okay, okay. Well, what a dead elephant. My friend, when I get through with you, any similarity between you and a woodpecker will be purely coincidental. <laughs> Hey, Doc, we're raffling off a turkey. You want to take a chance? Turkey? Gentlemen, I am delighted. And how do I win this noble bird? First, we blindfold you like this, see? Then you reach in the bowl and draw out a ticket. Allow me to congratulate you. You have won first prize. Ah, Dame Fortune smiles at me. And where is my turkey? Down at Toiky headquarters. Toy ting, toy ting, then gluten plates. Go get it and bring it back here. Yeah, and we'll show you how to stuff it. <laughs> See who it is. I've come 
to claim my turkey. Turkey? Do we have a turkey? We might have one in the refrigerator. Cold turkey. By Jove, my favorite dish. <laughs> A moment. I demand my turkey. Let me have it. Okay. Look here, uh, Cecil. Cecil. Oh no. Oh la di da da. Pass the cream puff, Cecil, and don't forget the pink tea, Cecil. I see so. Steps from wall to refrigerator. One, two, three, four, five. Aha! Oh no, not again! Go. Baby, 
what they wanted. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, girls, I have a magic wish for the little princess. I wish that she... A very is... good idea. As a good fairy of wisdom, my wish will bring her knowledge. And... <laughs> and with my magic power, I wish to give her everlasting beauty. <laughs> and I, I shall endow her with rituals and great wealth. But girls, you're forgetting that without me, you can do nothing. I am destiny. Oh, you and your old destiny. Always bragging about yourself. Yes, always <laughs> bragging about yourself. What you are. Oh, it's the mailman, the mailman. <laughs> Letter for beauty, and one for wealth, and one for wisdom, and one for... Well, of all things. Well, what do you know? I'm invited to the celebration. And me, too. And also I. You see? That's how important you are. Yes, they didn't even invite you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they wouldn't invite me. Well, I'll go anyway. I'll... I'll crash the gate. Is that on her 15th birthday, your little princess will prick her finger on a spindle and fall asleep for a hundred years? Yeah! <laughs> and so that the cursed wish could never come true, the king had all the spinning wheels and spindles destroyed. Fifteen years later, the little princess had become a beautiful maiden. And one day, while snooping through the castle tower, come in. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm spinning, dearie. Would you like to try it? No, nope. I don't want to. Oh, it won't hurt you much. Come on and try it. Uh-uh. I don't want to. Look, it says in the book, you gotta prick your finger and go to sleep. But I'm not sleepy, and besides, I don't wanna. Look, I've been waiting for 15 years, and now you say, I don't wanna. Oh, yes, is that fair? Oh, well, if you're gonna feel that way about it, here goes. Ouch! Come back 
in a hundred years, folks, and see me wake up. <laughs> Revenge! Revenge! So the princess slept for almost a hundred years. One day the good fairies were cleaning house and they found the lost letter under the rug. We found it under the rug! So you were invited after all. You've done a terrible wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm a bad girl. What'll I do? Only a lover's kiss will awaken the princess. I wish, uh, I wish that the nearest prince will come to her rescue. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, hey, Biscuit. Whoa! <laughs> Gosh, what's got into me? <laughs> I feel foolish. <laughs> it must be love. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Are you the sleeping beauty? The sleeping beauty? Are you the sleeping be- Are you her? <laughs> no, I'm not the sleeping beauty. Look. Gosh. <laughs> She's beautiful. <laughs> She's gorgeous. <laughs> Magnificent. <laughs> She's pretty good looking, <laughs> ain't it? W what do I do now? Kiss her, you dope. <laughs> Who, me? Oh. <laughs> I'm too bashful. <laughs> I ain't never kissed a girl, a girl, a girl. I ain't never indulged in osculation. Look, it says in the book you gotta kiss her and you gotta kiss her. <laughs> Where you going, Breezy? I'm going to school, Pop. Goodbye. That's a good boy, son. Getting all that learning with books and pencils and... Books? Breezy forgot his books. I better take them to him. Breezy! You forgot your books! Rook Trout. My, what a big boy. I'm the truant officer boy, and you should be in school. Me? In school? Har, har, har! Shame on you for playing hooky. You come along with me, Sonny. <laughs> tum, tum. 
from the unbound. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, away! Ah. You have to go to school, you bad boy. Now, looky here, shorty. I'm smart, see? I don't have to go to school. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Here, uh, let me show you a problem in geometry. Let X equal an icebox and Y equal a door, then X plus Y over the square of the hypotenuse equals a banana. Uh, uh, uh... Now get lost! I thought I told you to get lost. That's judo, Sonny. Just a minute! You will rue this day. Come along now. What a heavy boy.
Ada.